This is code.org. Let's see. Which of the following are attributes that a student object might have? Ooh. Students, keep in mind, I'm going to walk through this, explain some of it. You need to understand it. Just clicking the right answer, I promise you, will hurt you later. If you don't understand this, it's going to hurt you. So let's talk about it. Let's think together. All right. So which of the following are attributes that a student might have? Interesting. So how would we define an attribute? And if you're going to say, I don't know, we've never talked about this. Ta-da! Through the magic of the internet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have. But let's take another look. An attribute is a characteristic of an object. Boom. So, what is an object? Right here, it is the painter object. Attributes. Okay. A behavior is an action that an object can perform. A behavior, which is we're going to talk about later behaviors right so these are actually going to be methods we'll be learning what these behaviors do in upcoming lessons but right now it's important to understand attribute is a characteristic of an object as we talk about these attributes keep in mind that once we create a painter object like my painter they're going to often be referred to as properties so the attribute is the painter class that has these following the, that attributes belong to the painter class. That's what we use to make our painter object, right? And it has these following attributes. Now, when we make my painter, our my painter has an X location property. That being said, we'll get more into this, but yeah, attributes. So what might belong to a student? What would make sense for it to have an attribute? Would a student have a name, a grade? Would they have go to sleep? Now, wait a minute. What did we just say? There are behaviors and there are attributes. Which would you describe as a behavior? Is a grade a behavior? Is a name a behavior? Is go to sleep a behavior? Which might be able to be a behavior, right? Attributes are things like, for instance, name, age. Um, if you're talking about a color pattern, it could be a color code. Things of this nature, right? They're properties of our instantiated objects. So that being said, I would guess go to sleep is more like a behavior or a method. So, ta-da! If that didn't make sense, please go back through this. You need to understand this stuff. All right, onward.